The Greatest Dancer Semi-Final, Cheryl shows off her quirky sense of style in a white blazer dress as O.T. Mabuse sets pulses racing in plunging gold outfit. The Greatest Dancers Live Semi-Final kicked off in style on Saturday night. And Cheryl showed off her eccentric sense of style as she stepped out on stage for the BBC One live show alongside a glamorous O.T. Mabuse. The Love Made Me Do It hitmaker, 35 looked striking as she stepped out on stage in a white blazer dress which had a plunging neckline that showed off her cleavage. Cheryl wore her chestnut locks in a dramatic ponytail, while she accentuated her pretty features by wearing smoky eyeshadow and a slick of lip gloss. Boosting her height in statement white gladiator heels, the singer showcased her slender legs as she completed her look by wearing nude tights. Meanwhile Odie was sure to set pulses racing in a dazzling gold sequined mini dress which fit snugly on her incredible figure. The Strictly Pro, 28, styled her brunette dresses with a middle parting, and her hair fell down her shoulders in glamorous waves. Odie's glittering ensemble had a deeply plunging neckline so that she could showcase her ample assets while she accessorized with dangling red and gold earrings. While she gave her look a pop of color by stepping out in a pair of killer fuchsia pink heels, and she coordinated her look by putting on a slick of matching lipstick. The live semi-final saw Strictly Come Dancing pro Pasha Kovalev perform for the final time with his co-stars. And dance captain Cheryl drove fans wild as she performed alongside the dancer, 39, in a very raunchy routine that saw her fellow judges Odie Mabuse and Matthew Morrison dancing alongside them. The singer was dressed in sparkly leotard which had a fringed skirt that gave the performance a glamorous flair as she took part in a Latin dance with Pasha. The pros began the performance clad in tight black suits for the dance, which the girls then ripped off to reveal glittery ensembles underneath. Their skirts boasted 100,000 sequins, and the shoes were specially made for each female dancer, while it looked like the dance was themed around girl power. Cheryl was then led by Pasha in a Latin-themed performance, in what was his last TV performance with the Strictly Pros after announcing earlier this week that he would be quitting the show. After their group routine, Pasha paid an emotional tribute to his former colleagues as he gushed, As you might know 2018 was my last year in Strictly, but I'm so excited to share this beautiful stage with my Strictly family one more time. During the show, Odie broke down in tears over her group KLA's performance which saw the group of girls perform with props for the first time and receive a score of 80.5% from the audience. The Strictly Pro, 28, began crying as she gave her critique to the dance troupe after their performance, as she said, I know how hard it is, and I know how hard they worked. As she began to cry she said sorry, before she continued candidly, I get so nervous when KLA dances, they get overwhelmed by everyone. They can't do splits, they can't stand on their heads and jumping like everyone else does but they dance and deliver Latin and dance. As she continued to shed tears over the group, she concluded, You push yourselves, you used the umbrellas, I love you, never forget that. I love you very much. While Matthew admitted it wasn't his favorite performance from them, he added, it was great seeing them use props, and also seeing you try things that we've never seen from you guys. It's all stuff we've never seen you do before, and in that sense you are completely fearless. Cheryl then went on, as she added, Girls I thought your choreography has gotten better each week, you really do take risks with your choreography, your lifts and your spins. Some of those things I wouldn't be able to be brave enough to do. It was Harry and Aliyah who received the most votes during the semi-final, as their circus-themed performance earned them 97% of the audience's vote. After their routine, Odie began, You two are so beautiful to watch, I mean it was amazing, and I almost don't recognize you without you fighting each other. That was so nice, your technique was so good and that you could execute the softness. Matthew continued, that was just another incredible performance from you two, the thing I can say about you two throughout this competition is that you've been so consistent and that is a testament to your work. While Cheryl added, I am so proud, I don't think anyone else has had 97% yet, I couldn't be happier it's so well deserved.
What makes me slightly nervous is that you're so good. The Dane Bates Collective had a night and day themed dance, which they performed to Florence and the Machine song Shake It Out, getting a respective 87.1% from the audience. Odie told the troupe, I thought that was a strong and impactful performance. You know what, every week you girls come here and commit, and show your love for dance and I thought that was amazing. While the Glee star gushed, you know I love your storytelling, you tell a different story each week, this one was so carefree I loved when you lined up in the cannon and went back to front it was beautifully told. Cheryl, as their dance captain, then went on to say, I believe that you're the best storytellers in the competition, you really connect storyline wise, and it's easy to forget that you guys live in opposite ends of the country and get together once a week to put on a performance. The Frobacks had a box theme for their semi-final dance, and performed to La Freak by Chic which earned them a rousing 91.2% from the studio audience. Matthew went first from the judges panel, and he showered them with compliments as he said, I thought they should have got more than 91% myself. Your first live show was incredible, last week you took a step back but this week was frotastic. Meanwhile Oti who critiqued the group last week for not putting as much emphasis on their performance, couldn't keep the smile off her face, as she said, Welcome back boys. I'm so happy that you were dancing a lot more, you were more yourself. It was Cheryl's turn next, as she said, This is why we come to love you because you're sick dancers, fresh dancers the choreography was jam-packed. Matthew's final dance team James and Oliver had a space theme for their routine and put on a video game inspired show which earned them 67.4%. Cheryl said she didn't think the pair make it easy for themselves, as she went on to say, I think you have been working hard this week, I think you show different sides. You showed versatility which a dancer needs, but I think you make it harder for yourselves. But well done on delivering tonight. Odie agreed with her fellow captain, as she added, the one thing about you too is I don't know what you're going to bring, you bring different styles and moves and that's what's special about you. While Matthew told James and Oliver, this whole journey I've been so proud of you, you've inspired me as a dancer, and I'm hoping the country votes for you. Earned her second place with a 93.8% audience rating. Matthew, who previously said he wanted to see her performer side on stage, told her, in the opening number tonight she was so fierce and giving it, and I was hoping it would translate into this performance, and it really did. Cheryl beamed as she added, I think you have that rebel side in you, and it was my favorite performance from you. While Lodi said, I cannot say or put in words how proud I am of you, because I know this is so uncomfortable for you. For you to even have your hair loose was a big fight, but I love how you give a big fight every week. You put your heart and soul into it. Cheryl lost two acts at the end of the voting period, as Frobacks and Dane Bates Collective were eliminated ahead of the final. With that, Matthew's dance duo James and Oliver, Cheryl's team Harry and Ilya, and Odie's group KLA and Dancer Ellie went through to the next round. After her group's elimination was revealed, Cheryl said, It's been my pleasure to have all my acts, they're incredibly talented. It's not the last we've seen of them, they are both so talented, 